My crew was called the Top Crew, and uh, we did one thing that no other crew ever did in graffiti history. That would be the kings of every train line in New York City. Well, the way graffiti artists got popular back in the days was uh, basically by writing their names more than your competitors. Uh, in those days, the big thing was actually painting trains. Well, um, you know, graffiti art is, is the mecca. It's, it's where um, this art form um, evolved from. These are the, the beginnings um, right here in New York City. I think that this phenomenon and this art form could, couldn't have been born anywhere else but New York City. Back in the 1970s, there was no street art. Um, Street art is another art form altogether. The only similarities really with uh, street art and, and graffiti art that most of um, the people who do it, they use spray paint. Spray paint is the revolution. Spray paint um, changed the way we paint art. And I thought that was your best question. The, the, the reason why we use the subways is because um, in, in the beginning when this art form, when the major place was to paint a train, we would also compete against each other. Like guys from Brooklyn would compete against people from the Bronx and the Bronx would compete against people from Queens. It was like a city-wide kind of thing. And um, so you could, paint your name on a train in Brooklyn, but it also traveled in the Bronx and they could see it in the Bronx too. It eventually, it became highly competitive who was the most creative, or who was the most um, seen on the trains and that's how we would know who was